Good evening, Miss. Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome to your English class. Thank you for your punctuality. Thank you for being here connected. And thank you for uh, completing the platform exercises. Okay, good for you. Let's start our class today. The topic of today is have to and simple past. Okay, so um, you have been working on this on the platform, but it's important for you to know the pronunciation and also sometimes you need exp extra explanation. So let me know when you can see my screen, please. Yes, I see. Can you? Yes. Okay, that's great. Yes. <laughs> Very good. So the lesson, oh, yeah, you can see there. Class number seven, have to and simple pass. The lesson objectives for today, we have two. Uh, Jenny, would you like to read the first, please? The first objective. By, by, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Exactly, thank you so much. And the other one, uh, Patricia, please. Yo, teacher, Patricia Herrera. Yes, you. <clears throat> ah, okay. <laughs> By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Thank you so much. Okay, so you will learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate doing and also simple past with regular verbs. So the first activity is recalling previous knowledge. Activity two, I have to. And activity three, past action. And activity four, wrap up. Okay, so for the first activity, I have these uh, expressions or these, uh, yeah, these expressions, like, dislike, love, and hate. And we have a true or false activity. Okay, with this activity, what I want you to do is that you are going to read my sentences about myself and you will tell me if it's true or false about the things that I like, I dislike, I love, and I hate, okay? So let's begin. You are going to identify or guess if it's true or if it's false, right? Okay. Okay. Why? The first one says, I like washing the dishes. Is it true or false? False. For you. <laughs> I dislike staying, night, staying up late. True or false? True. true. I love teaching. Yes, it's true. True. It's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I hate cooking. False. 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 That's false or true. False. true. False. 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 So you think I like cooking? Yes. Okay, let's let's check. <laughs> I like washing the dishes. That is true. I like washing the dishes. Oh. Many, many people don't like it, but I like it. I find it relaxing. Yes, I like okay. the second one. I dislike staying up late. That's true. I don't like going to bed very late. <laughs> so teaching at night is like a sacrifice that I make. <laughs> but I like going to bed early at 9 p.m. or 8.30 if it's possible. <laughs> Okay, the other one. I love teaching. Yes, that's true. Yes. I love teaching, especially English. I hate cooking. That is false because 
I love cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I could be a good housewife because I like washing the dishes and I love cooking. <laughs> okay. Very good. Now, guys, I want you to do the same. Please write on your notebook using the same structures. I like, I dislike, I love, and I hate. And try to use actions. For example, um, if the actions will be in the gerund form, in the ing form. For example, you can say, I like eating pupusas. I dislike drinking beers, I love um, learning English, I hate, um, I don't know, cooking, or I hate uh, doing the dishes or washing my the clothes, etc. Okay, so remember that one of them, it's going to be false. Then in the breakout rooms, you are going to Read your sentences aloud to your classmates and they will tell you if it's true or if it's false. Okay? So, let, please, let's do it. Yes. Do you have any questions? ¿Cómo traduciría eh, cuando dice I hate cooking? Odio cocinando. No, no, no. I ¿Cómo se hate cooking. Ajá, no, Pero, odio cocinar. ¿Cocinar? Ah, es que como ING es ando, ¿verdad? Cocinando, enseñando, ¿sí? No. Uh -huh, sí, pero en ese, en ese contexto son eh, esas acciones, ¿verdad? Como me gusta lavar los trastes, no me gusta desvelarme o quedarme hasta tarde. Me encanta enseñar. Enseñar. Odio cocinar. Okay. I'm ready. You are ready, okay? Please um, raise your hand, the virtual hand, if you are ready, so that I can make the breakout rooms. Are you ready? Please raise your hand, your virtual hand. Levanten la manita virtual. Si sí, ya terminó de hacer la, sus oraciones, recuerden, tiene que ser una falsa. Denis Urquiza, I finally see you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Muy bien, teacher. <laughs> ok, yeah, there are some people that I don't know their faces. Mm -hmm. And you know that you have to turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make the breakup rules mm -hmm. so that you can um, practice with your classmates. Okay. If you want to see the example, uh, you can you have the presentation in your WhatsApp group. So uh, there you can see it. Please accept the invitation. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be here like an observer and a listener. What? <laughs> and listening to you, okay? Okay. Remember that you have to say your sentences using I like, I dislike, or I don't like. I love 
and I hate. Okay. I love to puede ser I love to teach y también puede ser I love teaching lo que sería incorrecto es decir I love teach eso sí sería incorrecto tiene que usar I love to teach or I love teaching ok Dennis, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so we are all ears. We can listen to you. Eh, tengo que decir la, las tres oraciones, ¿verdad? Exactly. Four sentences. Four? Yes, four. Ay, ay me falta una, teacher. Espérenme. La voy a escribir rapidito. Okay. Let me see if I can share with you the, this slide to everyone. ¿Cómo se dice barrer? O sea, I had barrer. <laughs> yes, yeah, sweep the floor. Sweep. S W E E P. Sí. Yes. Ya, yeah, teacher. Ok. Ok, la, prim la, la primera oración es I like playing soccer. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yes. The second is I dislike washing my clothes. True. No. It's false. No? It's false. It's false? You like washing your clothes? Yes. Okay, that's good. I like Can you repeat, please? I like reading books. Books. Yes. <laughs> and the last one? I dislike swimming in the pool. False. Yes. Okay, <laughs> great. But okay, now please ask Carlita and Andrea to read the sentences to you. Okay, I will check other other groups. Okay. See you later. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. Hello, Hello Lisa. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, tuve problemas con mi teléfono y me trabó y por eso no pude entrar a la sesión. Okay, but um, let me see. Do you remember the number that ah, you were on, on the number three? Okay, we can practice, you and me. Okay. Have your sentence ready? Repeat, please. Do you have your sentences ready? Um, um, Did you one. write your sentences? Um, sí, en eso estaba trabajando porque no había comprendido porque entré un poquito tarde, pero sí. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, tenía um, que escribir, ¿verdad? Write the sentences I like, I dislike, I love, and I hate. Eh, por ejemplo, la que ella había hecho, eh, la, la redacté. I love playing with my son. I love playing with my son. Excellent. It's, that's true. Es cierto, it's true. Yeah, yes, yes, it's true. Um, okay, um, another one. I dislike. Um, um, como esperar, no recuerdo. Uh, I waiting, dislike, waiting, waiting. Um, to the persons. Waiting for people. You dislike waiting for people. That's true. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't be patient. <laughs> okay, what about another one? Um, I hate... Um, don't you stay um, that class? Oh. Uh, okay, I hate not understanding the class. I hate not understanding the class. And that's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sí, de hecho me cuesta un poco el listening. Eso the listening. ¿Hm? Sí. Yeah, it's because you are in the beginner. You are a beginner, that's why that happens. You, you won't understand 100%. But mm -hmm. then when you are like advancing and progressing, eventually you will acquire the skills, the listening skills. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, okay. but that's why I speak English all the time, the majority of the time. So your ear gets accustomed to listening. Yes, see, mm -hmm. practice, practice, practice. Really. Exactly, practice and practice and practice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish this, the, the, the rooms okay thank mm -hmm. you teacher you are welcome <laughs> and how old is your son what how old is your son you said i like playing with my son how old is your son uh, he is two years old two years old oh and what's his name and Caleb. Caleb. Oh, in English it's Caleb. Or that's his name. Um, or is it Caleb? It is Caleb. Solo que se escribe con K, como en inglés, Caleb. Oh, Caleb. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys, how was the practice? It was great. Oh, it was good. Okay. Oh. We're gonna continue with the with the class because of time. Time flies. So let's see. Let me share the screen for you. Miss, uh, only a question. Yes. Uh, el verbo planchar. I don't. Iron. 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 And ing. I don't need. I don't need. Ah, okay. Yes. Oh, that is something that I hate doing. I hate yes. iron, iron in the clothes. I prefer to buy clothes that we don't have to iron because <laughs> that is something that I don't like doing. Yes. Do you like iron in the clothes? I dislike ironing, but yeah. no hate. <laughs> okay. I like iron. I dislike uh, washing the clothes. You dislike washing the clothes, the clothes. Okay, some people dislike folding the clothes. Oh. La, la ropa, folding the clothes, okay? You can read about this in the forum. In the forum, there were many interesting um, opinions. <laughs> okay, guys, next activity. My top five things I hate doing. Okay, look at my example. I have to go home. I hate being stuck in traffic. As you see in the, in the picture, I hate that. I have to go to the bank. I hate standing in line and waiting for hours, okay? Number three, I have to teach online. I hate having problems with the internet connection when I am in class, I hate that. <laughs> Uh, number four, I have to take the bus. I hate not getting a seat. Imagine when the bus is crowded of people and there's no seat. I hate not getting a seat. And number five, I have to clean my apartment. I hate mopping the floor, okay? That's, that's just an example because I didn't have more ideas, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. But I, I like cleaning the house. Okay, so here you can see your top five things you doing. Anymore. Did you do this exercise in the platform? No, I mean, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Hello. I made a question. 
I have, I have more. ¿Cuántos hicieron ya este ejercicio en la plataforma? ¿Cuántos lo hicieron ya? Pero este tema, este tema no lo he hecho todavía, Tiche, pero los estoy tratando de hacer todos. todos, todos, todos. No. Sí. Yo, yo, yo lo hice, pero cuando vi el video, hasta ahí estoy observando que acá en su clase está explicando que lleva el ING, pero el ejemplo que dieron en el video no llevaba ING. Es cierto. Bye. But, muy bien, good observation. Good observation. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain on the next slide. Look at the next slide. I have to. Yes. Okay, when we want to say the things that we have to do, that it's an obligation for us to do, even though we don't like it, this is the 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 structure okay first we have subject have to or has to when do i use has to when when is the third person exactly he she or it and then the verb in the base form for example my brother has to wash the dog you have to finish your online work Okay, it's your obligation. My brother has to wash the lab. You have to finish your online work. You have to be connected to the class tomorrow, <laughs> yes. etc. Okay, so when we talk about obligations, we use have to or has to. Okay, yes. now in the previous example here, I am using the ing form of the verb, but you can also use to. Okay, let me make some, let me write. For example, oops, sorry. For example, I have to go home. I hate being stuck in traffic. Give me, let's make an example, another example. Let's make that one. I hate to um, clean the window. Okay. Clean the window. Okay, I have to clean my house. Clean my house, okay. I hate, you can say, I hate cleaning the windows or or you can say, I hate to clean the windows. Uh, you need to use ENG. Son the verbos, hate and clean. Mm -hmm. So when we have two verbs, you have to be very careful. Why? Because you can use you can use the gerund form of the verb or the infinitive form of the verb, okay? The two ways are correct. I hate cleaning the windows is correct. I, ha I hate to clean windows or to clean the windows is also correct. But what is incorrect? It's incorrect to say I hate clean the windows. That is incorrect. This is incorrect, yes. okay? Because we have two verbs, but um, in English, you have to use a, this a structure or ing or infinitive. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, for me, yes. Okay. So these two are correct, okay? Eh, pero puede but ser it, con otro verbo, no solo con hate, ni con like, ni dislike, ni love, con cualquier otro verbo, al conjugarse puede llevar ing. 
Cuando hay dos juntos, vaya, vamos a ver, por ejemplo, el, por eso les en, en el ejercicio, en el primer ejercicio, se los puse así. Con like, love, and there are other verbs in which you can use the ing. For example, don't like or dislike. Like, no, prefer, enjoy. You can use the both forms. You can use ing or you can use the two, the infinitive form. Examples. Let's say, let's say, give me an action. Doing homework. Prefer swim in the pool. Okay, for example, doing homework. You can say, um, we don't like doing homework. Prefer. Or you can we say, like. we don't like to do homework. And both mm -hmm. are correct. Okay? Uh, both say, are correct. I need to clean the windows. In that, in that case, you have to use two. I need to clean the windows. Exactly. To clean, yes. to clean, and I can say I need cleaning the window. No, in that way, no. With need, with need, you have to use two. Oh, yes. Yeah. In other levels, you are going to learn that there are some specific verbs in which you cannot use the ing. You have to use the infinitive. But with these verbs, be sure that you can use both. Okay. I need to. Con esas, de las dos maneras se puede hacer. ¿Verdad? Y de ahí con los otros, la mayoría va a tener que usar two. Two. For example, I want to drink water. To drink. Ahí sí es incorrecto decir I want drinking water. Oh. To drink. Okay. And I dislike drinking. I dislike drinking. Is it correct? correct? It's correct. Um well we can we can listen to some to some dogs barking. So if it's in your if it's in your house, please. Um, uh, turn off your mic, please, your microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Oh, actually, I, I would like you to tell me or give me some examples uh, doing this. My, my, my idea was to do this. Um, my idea was that you ask a partner, you tell a partner, and you then you're gonna tell me. For example, Isamar le dice a Yancy, a Yancy um, um, I have to go to the supermarket. I hate um, waiting in line. Entonces, Viene eh, Jancy y me va a decir, Isamar has to go to the supermarket. She hates carrying a lot of bags or she hates standing or waiting in line. Entonces me lo va a decir, pero en tercera persona. No me va a decir el suyo, sino que me va a decir el de su compañero. No sé si me comprendieron o hacemos un ejemplo. Yes, teacher. Por ejemplo, un ejemplo. Un ejemplo. Va, permítame, pues. Quiero ver si puedo poner la pizarrita. El whiteboard.
excuse me. Or maybe I can write it on the, I can write it on the chat so that you can see there, okay? I think it's easier to write it on the chat. Okay, so imagine that, um, uh, for example, Isamar, así le dije, ¿verdad? Isamar dice, I have to go to the supermarket. Eso dice Isamar. Y ella dice, I hate carrying a lot of bags. Odio cargar muchas bolsas. Entonces viene Yancy y ella va a decir a los demás. Isamar has to go to the supermarket. Has to go to the supermarket. I'm sorry. Wait a moment. Supermarket. And she hates. Uh huh. She hates to care, and she hates caring. Exactly. Care. She hates to carry, or she hates carrying yeah. a lot of bags. A lot. Of okay. Yes. Vale. Entonces, again, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna make some breakout rooms. Y ya saben lo que tienen que hacer, verdad? Me van a decir el de su compañero. Todos me lo van a decir. Solo con una oración. Una cada uno. Please accept the invitation. Denis, room one. I think that. <laughs> Ludivina. Bueno, uh, lo voy a, lo voy, bueno, aquí pueden quedarse. Denis y Ludivina, si gustan. Ya que están aquí. Denis y Ludivina. Ah, ya se me fue. Jenny Marisol. Hello, Lick. Dijo, no sé por qué, pero ¿cómo hago para meterme ahorita? Yo la voy a asignar, permítame. Aquí veo que hay varios que no han entrado. Es que yo me salí por darle entrada. oración, ¿verdad? Hola, hola. Hello. 
Hello. ¿Qué van a hacer? Vamos a ver. ¿Se tienen que decir la oración? Perdón, teacher, pero no escuché las indicaciones y no escuchaba nada. Vaya, tienen que decir la oración como el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Usted se la va a decir a Ludivina, Ludivina le va a decir una oración a usted y usted luego me la va a decir a mí, pero en tercera persona. No me va a decir de usted, sino de ella. Sobre algo que ella tiene que hacer, pero odia hacer. Cualquier oración. Uh -huh. Cualquier oración. Así como les puse en el ejemplo en el chat. Ahí está el ejemplo en, en el chat. No vi el chat. <risa> Ahorita. Antes de meterme, aquí no había chat. Ahorita. Ahí se los puse, se los voy a volver a mandar. Aquí está. Por favor. Vale. Y si no, también se los voy a mandar en el, en el WhatsApp group. De lo Veamos. Hoy sí, ya vieron el ejemplo. ¿Cómo lo tienen que hacer? Isamar, I have to... No, a mí no me ha caído. Pero ahí está en el chat. No en su grupo. I, I de este es el ejemplo. Ahora, usted lo divina, se lo dice a Lisette. O Lisette a lo divina. Ah, yo voy al supermarket. No, tiene, de cual, otro ejemplo. De ah, algo, otro ejemplo. Ese. Something you have to do, but you hate doing it. I eat carrying the park. Isamar has a Ludivina. I have to go the eh, far, pharma. pharmacy. But I have to go uh -huh, pharmacy. I have to do the universe, the university in the night. I have to go to the I, university at night. At night. I I have de ahí es de decir lo que a mí no me gusta ir en la noche, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. I hate going at night. I hate going in the at, night. At I, night. I, at night. I at night. Yes. At night. Entonces ahora Ludivina va a decir, Lisa Lizette has to go to has to go to the university at night. She hates going at night. O sea, es conjugar en verbo en la, en, la, en primera persona, en segunda persona y en tercera persona. No, en pri, usted se lo va, usted como se lo está diciendo ella en primera persona, first person. En primer, ajá, en primera persona. Entonces viene Ludivina y ella nos lo va a decir en la clase. Pero de usted, pues, en tercera persona. Ajá, en tercera persona, ya la entendí, perdón. Ajá, va, ahora lo divina tiene que decirle a usted, Lisset. Vaya, lo divina. Dígame para, para yo decir que no le gusta hacer. Ajá. Puede ser cualquiera, vea, no ese mismo que está ahí. Exactly, a different example. Please. Le gusta lavar en la noche. No. Ah, pues diga, I have, I have to, wash, in the... to wash my clothes. I have to wash my clothes. I hate I washing have... the clothes at night. 
Ah, de lo divina. No, she has washing the clothes. She has to. At night. She has to. She has to. She has to. She has to. The she has to wash. She has to wash the clothes. She has to wash the clothes. She has to wash the clothes. Uh -huh. She hates. She hates washing. Washing the clothes. Entonces sería, she hates do go washing. ¿Cómo sería? Perdón. Can you repeat, please? I I had to go washing. I have to wash. To wash. I, I have, have to wash. wash. I have to wash. I have to wash my clothes. Wash. I hate to washing the clothes at night. She has to washing washing the clothes. ¿Se recuerda la oración de Lisette? I have to Lisette I have to La de Lisette, ella dijo y usted le tiene que poner en tercera persona, Lisette dijo I have to go to the pharmacy. I have to go to the university, dijo. <laughs> ah, university. She goes, no, perdón. She hates university. going to the university she hates to the unite. Permítanme, tengo aquí una sin. Bueno, vamos a volver a la sala principal. At night. Get okay, guys, please, uh, let's start sharing with me about your classmates. The things your classmates hate doing. Let's start with Carla Alejandrina. Who was your partner, Carla? Lo que me dijo con mi compañera. Yes. Este, I say have to go the cinema market. She. Okay, Aisa has to go to the supermarket. She hates popcorn. She hates? No, Cinemark. Cinemark. Ah, she has to go to the cinema. 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 She has to go to the cinema. Cinemark is the, is the name of the movie theater. <laughs> okay. But I, I couldn't hear... De what she hates doing. No lo pude escuchar bien. Toda la oración. Uh -huh. Please. Este, um, Aiza have to go to cinema. She loves eating popcorn. She loves eating popcorn. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so you did your example using the opposite, love, eating popcorn. Okay, thank you. Now, Aisa? Okay, um, Carla, she has to go to university. Um, uh, she hates to wake up early. Oh, she hates to wake up early. She hates to wake up early. Wake up early. <laughs> yes, oh, that's terrible. 
Ok, now let's see. Verónica Rivas. Um, I had to go. Uh, ha, I had to go to work. I hit going to work. Okay. okay, Veronica. And who was your partner? Who was your partner? Quién fue? Con quién trabajó? Kevin. Con Dennis. Kevin ah, entonces, Kevin Roque. Ah, con Kevin. Ok, ¿qué le dijo Kevin? Díganme lo que a Kevin le tiene que hacer y le, no le gusta. O odia hacer. Y, y Kevin, I have to clean my no. house. Ok, He, Kevin has to, porque estamos have, hablando de Kevin. ¿verdad? Kevin okay. has to. Has to clean uh, my house. Oh, your house. His, his house. Ah, uh, his house. His house, his house. He hit cleaning the windows. Okay, he hates. He hate cleaning the windows. Oh, he okay. hate cleaning the windows. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Veronica. What is Kevin? You can see Kevin. Oh. Kevin, tell us about Veronica, please. Hi, hello. Hello, Kevin. Uh, Veronica have to work. She hates going to work. She hates going to work. Okay, thank sí. you so much, Kevin. Modesto Rosa. Hello. Hello. Yes, who's your partner? Sorry, sorry for the boss. No problem. My partner is Jancy. Jancy. Okay. She has go to the bank. She has to. Jancy, she Jancy has go to the bank. She has to go to the bank. She. She has to go she. to the bank. She has. To, to go to the bank, right? Yes, that's okay. right. She has to go to the bank. And she hates waiting in the line for two hours. Great, excellent. Thank you for your thank air for Modesto. You are sick, but thank you for your air for. What thank is Yancy? I don't see Yancy. Okay. Okay, yes, and now tell us. So, has, has to work tomorrow. Okay, but he hates driving a lot. Oh, he hates driving a lot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, guys, because of the time, we are going to stop here, but I hope that this is clear. If not, you can send your, your example via WhatsApp. You can send, uh, you can type it or, or you can send uh, an audio, okay? You can send your recording. Now, let's continue. Um, we have, let's say, five minutes and I will explain briefly the topic of simple past. Bye, entonces ya vimos esto. Past action, simple past of regular verbs. This is very simple, very simple. We have the subject, here is in color purple. We have the verb and we have the complement. Okay, with regular verbs are all the verbs that we just have to add ed. We have an example here, the verb is, what is the verb? Cook. 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 cook, exactly. Cook. In the present is I cook, you cook, he cooks, she cooks, it cooks, etc. But in the past, it's the same. 
It's the same for all of them, okay? So it's easier than the simple present. It's easier, okay? Más fácil que el presente, porque solo en el pasado no la tienen que andar poniendo S a la tercera persona. No, 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 no. You just have to put the D or ED or IED to the verb. And then the complement. For example, you cooked pasta last night. Usually in the complement, you have to use a past time expression. Una expresión del pasado, como yesterday, last night, last year, last month, last week. Set it up. Last Monday, last Friday, last weekend, etc. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Entonces, así es. Vamos a ver some rules for regular verbs. Oh, sorry, in negative form, you use did not or didn't. Entonces, en el presente, ¿cómo hacemos el, el negativo? Auxiliary must not. Exactly. She didn't. Ajá, we, we don't or doesn't. But in, in, in the past, we use did not or the contracted form didn't. Y entonces, como usamos el auxiliar, el verbo doesn't change. El verbo está en su forma normal, base form, okay? It would be, I didn't cook pasta. I didn't cook pasta last night. That's a lie. I, that's false. I didn't cook pasta. You didn't cook pasta last night. He didn't cook pasta last night. She didn't cook pasta last night. Entonces, acuérdense, como lleva el auxiliar, entonces el verbo, aquí ya nos dice que está in past. No le agregamos el E. No. Va normal, ¿ok? And okay. there are some spelling rules for the verbs in, um, in for the regular verbs, okay? Hay unos... Reglas. Para la mayoría de los verbos, le vamos a poner... You add E. Cuando termine en Y, you change the Y to IED. And for the others... That end, if the verb ends in E, you just have to add to D. Okay? For example, shop. Vaya, cuando tenemos un verbo que es una sola sílaba, como shop, it's only one syllable. We have to double. Double P. Doblamos la última letra. En este caso, it's P. Y le agregamos ED. Shop. ¿Cuál sería el de watch? ED. Watched. El de wash. Miren que es diferente. Watch. 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 Play. Played. ¿Por qué en esta no le cambiamos la Y? Played. Why we don't change the Y? Porque lleva una, una Porque vocal antes. Una... Lleva una vocal antes. Si lleva una vocal antes, no, no lo vamos a cambiar. Solo le vamos a agregar ED. Así lo mismo, enjoy it. Avoid. Enjoy it. Avoid it. Want. Want it. Want it. Ahora, aquí tenemos otros ejemplos como study. Entonces, ahí sí, miren. Le cambiamos study. en vez de la Y, le ponemos IED. Study. Mary. 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 Eh. Apply. Apply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in this other examples, dance, danced. We put the D. Like, yeah. liked. And hate, hated. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? No. Bueno, lo que sí les voy a pedir es que si pueden sacar una lista de verbos. Si ustedes, bueno, voy a ver si se las puedo mandar en el WhatsApp, pero ustedes mismos lo pueden buscar en the internet. List of uh, regular verbs. 
Mm -hmm. So you practice. This is, this is basic. Esto es algo que tienen que aprenderse. ¿Quieren o no quieren? If you want to speak yes. English, you have to learn yes. the past tense of the verbs. Yes, yes we I want to speak Yes. I... Muy bien. Ahora bien, la siguiente parte. Esas serán los regulares. Ahora bien, en el caso de los irregular verbs, pero quizás eso lo vamos a ver mañana, porque ya son las 8 y 56. Bueno, se lo voy a decir rapidito. Entonces, solo, solo aquí wrapping up. Con los regulares, regular verbs, ¿qué hacemos? Why to R -E -D I or e I D or D. Exactly. We add E D, I E D or D, depending on the verb. Pero con los irregular verbs, con los verbos irregulares, in simple past, this verb they change completely. The word changes. Por ejemplo, it es irregular, es un verbo irregular. It's an irregular verb. It, eight, eight, do, eight. write, think, can, and drink. Oh, there are many, many others, but I put these examples. For example, eat, and pass, eat, eight, eight. eight. do, did, eat, write, wrote, 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 wrote. wrote. think, thought, so, so. can, cool, oh. cool, and drink, drunk. drunk. And I put this example here. We ate hamburgers. ¿Cómo dice ahí? We, we ate, ate hamburgers. hamburgers. We ate hamburgers. We didn't eat pasta. We didn't eat pasta. We ate hamburgers. We didn't. We didn't eat we did pasta. It, it, We ate hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can yes. see the family. They ate we hamburgers. Eat drank. They drank soda. They didn't drink tea. We call. En el caso de could, aquí es un verbo, es un auxiliar. En, en, en present, in the present tense, is can, for example, I can speak English. Or I can, um, I can drive a car. Pero en el pasado, para decir no pude, lo usamos para decir no pude, could. Y entonces este sí es diferente para decirlo en pasado, pero ahí se los voy a explicar mañana porque ya no los quiero, no los quiero abrumar con mucha información today, ¿ok? Vaya, chicos, entonces, okay. to finish the class, ya no tuvimos tiempo de practicar la conversación de que hicimos ayer. What did you do yesterday? Pero, pero lo pueden mandar en, en el WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? What did you do yesterday? Y aquí pueden decir, oh, yesterday, in the morning, I made my breakfast. I took a shower. I washed. I do, I do the bed. <laughs> I slept until 11 a.m. Or I stayed in bed until 10 a.m., etc. I take a bath. Okay. In the past, it would be I took. I, I see, took I a took. bath. Uh -huh. I at went noon, to the mall. At noon, you can say I cooked my lunch or I cooked lunch for my family. <laughs> and I cleaned the kitchen. In the afternoon... I worked on the platform online for English corporativo, okay? I practiced my English with a classmate, etc. Okay, those were just examples. 
but you can do it in, in the WhatsApp group and tomorrow we are gonna have more practice. Okay, it's time for the wrap up. What did you study today? What do you hate doing? And what are the spelling rules for reversing paths? We need three volunteers to answer the questions. Volunteer number one, remember the more you practice, it's the better for you. Today we studied and <laughs> to use hate. Oh, yes, when you use hate. <laughs> And what else? I don't know. Okay, we study at the simple past two of regular verbs. The regular verbs. Thank you. The auxiliar did, yes. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, let's see. Angela Mariela? What do you hate doing? I hate Angela Mariela. Um. What do you hate doing? I hate to studying English. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you hate to study English? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I respect your opinion. Okay, what are the spelling rules for verbs in past? Give me one, Fatima. Fatima El Carmen, one spelling rule for verbs, for regular verbs in past. Una regla para los verbos en pasado regulares para escribirlo. Y ti agrega. Okay. Le agregamos ed. Y si el verbo termina en i, agregamos d. Just a. a. And a. if the verb ends in y, y. To I. I. A. We change the y and we write y. Y. I. I. D. E. D. Okay. A. Thank you so much for your participation today, guys. Remember, the more you practice, the more you learn. Just let me Teacher. ask you. <laughs> Teacher, sorry. Love you, studying English. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> you changed sorry. your mind. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, please tell me, how are you doing with the work on the platform? ¿Cómo les va? ¿Quién ya completó por lo menos el 80%? Solo la unidad 5 me falta a mí. I don't know. 56% dicen. La, la número igual, cinco vale más. Igual yo, yo ya hice el midterm. El midterm. Pero tuvieron que haber hecho. Sí, yo oh. ya lo hice, pero llevo el 56, casi el 60%, pero ya solo me falta la unidad, la sección 5. Excelente. De hecho, ya, ya la empecé. Mire. Quiero ver, esta es la clase número 7 y son 16 videoconferencias, es decir, que solo nos hacen falta 9. Pero para la videoconferencia número 14, ustedes ya tienen que haber terminado todo. Todo. Teacher, y se puede avanzar, digamos, ahora, ¿verdad? Que puedo terminar, lo puedo hacer. Sí, avance todo lo que pueda, hágalo. Y fíjense que en el meter casi todas salen mal. Le voy a ser sincera, por eso he regresado. 
lo puede volver a hacer. Vale, ahora lo voy, ahora porque he estado revisando, pero en el going to me equivoco, le voy a ser sincera. Uh -huh. bueno. Solamente me falta la sección 5 y el examen final. Ok, good. Good for you. Well, if you have any... Um, well, yeah, if you... Let's study again. If you have problems with one topic, you can review or you can ask me. You can write to me and ask me. Ok. Ok, okay guys. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> okay, um, please watch your homework. Seamos más específicos con la tarea, ¿verdad? Me van a escribir 20, no más, 15 verbos, 15 verbos regulares en pasado y 15 verbos irregulares en pasado para mañana. ¿Qué verbo? ¿La pronunciación en un audio o cómo? Perdón. No, escribir. Regular. 15 verbos en regulares y 15 verbos irregulares en pasado, ¿verdad? Para mañana. Bien poquito les he dejado. 50 y 50. Les les he Al WhatsApp. No. En su cuaderno. Aquí no. me van a enseñar mañana sus cuadernos. Me mandan una picture. ¿Una picture o me la enseñan aquí? Ok. Teacher, los escribí, teacher. Es que si los hacen en el WhatsApp, solo van a ir a la página de internet, los van a copiar y los van a pegar. Y no, 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 no. no, no. Los van a escribir porque tienen que practicar el spelling. Ok. Ok. <coughs> Okay, guys, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow.